Hey guys. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be doing a um, list of the movies that I'm most anticipated seeing in 2023. And uh, this is one so I can uh, kind of, uh, I guess, push myself to go see them because I've wanted to see them anyways. But also maybe to remind you of some ones that you probably didn't know were coming out. So um, yeah. So first one that I'm dying to see, I, I be honest, I keep forgetting it's going to be released because it's actually coming off, coming from Netflix and, uh, they don't actually list those movies when they list all the other movies coming to theater. So, um, except for online, I keep forgetting that it's coming out next year, but that of course is Rebel Moon. And just from the shots that I, that are being released, it looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm so goddamn excited to see it. Um, Zack Snyder always knocks it out of the park when it comes to his movies. So I'm so excited to see it. Um, as of yet, um, all I know we know about it is going to be about like this woman who goes to find these, like, goes to planet to planet to find people to fight with her. I'm assuming we get this this big threat. So. I mean, originally, we already know it was originally supposed to be, um, a, uh, it was supposed to be a, uh, Star Wars movie, um, but they never accepted it, and so I guess he decided to make his own movie with it, and I also think that it also takes inspiration from his daughter's script, um, from what I understand, so it's going to be, I think, more emotional because of what happened so um so yeah I'm excited to see that um and then the rest not gonna be surprised but so many of them are horror movies um of course there's Megan which just a typically like TikTok dance in there there was that dance there and I was like typically I'd be like rolling my eyes but I actually kind of find it funny <laughs> You know, just creepily her dancing before she just takes the, like, the, um, the, uh, you know, whatever that's called, the, uh, paper cutter, uh, whatever you call it, and just take it off, the blade off to go kill the dude. <laughs> but, oh, I, I think I found the, the most funniest description of Megan was when I was in theaters. And um, I was just in the hallway and this kid was talking about it and he's, he, he called Megan the sexier version of Annabelle. <laughs> and I just took great enjoyment out of that description. But um, yeah, it's by James Wan. I mean, I enjoyed um, uh, Aberrate, not... What, what the fuck his name? What was that Nick movie called? I mean, I, I enjoyed his last movie, so... I'll probably enjoy this as well. <sighs> Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. You bet your ass when I heard this was coming out, I was going to go watch it. <laughs> um, if they continue to make like fairy tale characters into like these horror uh, villains, and I'm all for it. But let's be honest here. Just the, you know, original like fairy tales that Disney's based off are horrific enough. But, you know... I, I'm definitely going to go be seeing this. <laughs> Cocaine Bear. Okay. <laughs> I do love that fact that people didn't believe this was actually a movie. Um, but I know it's based on a, a real life event. Not as interesting as a movie. This bear ate cocaine and then um, pretty much just died. In this one they turn him into a bloodthirsty killer. But it looks like it's going to be more of a horror comedy, which I'm always down for. So, of course, I'm going to go watch it. I might even go watch it with my, uh, maybe try to get my co-worker to go watch it with me. She, I got her to watch Violent Night with me, and she loved it. And I actually was able to convince one of my other co-workers to possibly go see it. So, <laughs> slowly converting them. <laughs> but, um, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Honor Among Thieves. I think there was originally an earlier version of Dungeons and Dragons I've never seen before I, and I forgot it actually existed but this one 
It looks like a fun action movie, fantasy movie, and it has for sure. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez as, you know, this, um, like, strong, you know, female character. Literally strong. So, of course, I'm interested in go seeing it. We'll see. Transformers Rise of Beast. Originally, I was very, oh, God, I'm not another one. But then I realized uh, Michael Bay has nothing to do with it, which automatically makes it interesting to me because I, I hate his... Transformers movie after like the first one and uh yeah apparently he's not having anything to do with this and from what I could see none of the I mean I just look at one the original Transformers but I don't know if any of the other pe people involved in the original Transformers are involved in this one I know Bumblebee's I'm assuming this is coming directly after Bumblebee this is within the same universe I don't think I I don't know if I saw um the the was it Haley Seinfeld when she and Bumblebee I I didn't see her in the trailer so I'm not sure if they're in that continuing on from that movie we'll see Elemental I know that's a Pixar movie and that's pretty much all I know and uh, so automatically when it comes to Pixar I'm always willing to give them a chance so I'm assuming it just has something to do with the elements. So, you know, I'll probably go watch it. Insidious Feared the Dark. I loved Insidious. I, I think I liked Insidious 2. The next, like, two, because I think this is number five. Eh, I'll have to rewatch them, but I'm always down for, like, Insidious. I guess with horror movies, I'm more willing to watch them, even if I know there's some of the sequels I don't enjoy, because... I just enjoy horror movies overall, and so no matter what, I'm willing to give them a chance. Oppenheimer, um, this is Dolan's one, yeah, right? He's coming out with it, um, about the bomb, and, uh, I mean, I do like Nolan, so, I mean, more than likely or not, I'm gonna go see it. I haven't seen the trailer yet, though. The Nun 2, didn't know they were coming out with this either, but once again, it's a I think it's a James Wan movie, right? Or at least it's from the Conjuring universe. And I'm always willing to go watch it. Dune Part 2. Oh, man. Dune. I have such a... Because I did not... I could not get through the books. I'm still halfway through the book. My coworker said that it gets better at... You know, once you get halfway through. We'll see. But the original Dune, you know, the movie... I wasn't much of a fan. The first movie, I wasn't terribly a fan, but I kept in mind that this was like the first half of, I think it's two parts for the first movie. And so, um, obviously it's not complete, so I'm willing to give them a chance to see what we get in the next part because obviously they're trying to like make it more like full story, I guess, instead of trying to rush it. So. We'll see what happens in the second one. Like I said, I mean, I'll be willing to give it a chance. And one that I did not know was happening until I saw the trailer was Mafia Mama. <laughs> and this just looks like one of those movies for me. Um, it's about this woman who finds out that she's um, a member of, like, the Mafia. And once they're, you know, like, the mob boss dies or something, I guess she's next in line. And so now she's... Uh, head of the mafia <laughs> and so it's just this like I don't know if it's this, like housewife here's who's now head of the mafia one of my favorite scenes is when she brings in this like metal box that you, you think is gonna have like guns or something it turns out it just has like muffins in it <laughs> it was just so fun and definitely I feel like one of the ones that could either be really funny or crap but I'm willing to go watch it so yeah, those were the movies that I'm wanting to see in 2023. There are probably so many more that I'll eventually see and like because um, I just went based on, I don't know what database it is, but it it shows most of the at least big, bigger name movies that are going to be coming out. Um, but a lot of them end up flying under the radar and I still end up watching them, enjoying them. So, 
So yeah, those are the movies that at least I'm uh, wanting to see in 2023. So if you have any that you're wanting to see that I did not mention, I probably did not know existed or are coming out, just let me know down in the comments. Um, other than that, you guys have a nice day. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you later. Bye.